Let's bring our block or blocks over uh, with us. So at the end, we can do a little breathing over the blocks. So we're going to roll down and start some deep breaths. Now release the shoulders and roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And let's start to press the low back down and wake up the, the belly, the lower belly. And when you're ready, start to lift the hips a little bit more and we're gonna reach the arms up too. And stretch. Feel the arms stretching over the head and the hips coming a little bit higher. And also feel the stability in your core. So your feet are really pressing down. And let's do one more and hold ourselves up and lengthen and take a few more breaths. And then just rolling the hips down, keep the arms up and let's stretch even more. So squeeze the belly in, navel to spine, feel that extra lengthening and then reach the arms out like angel arms out to the side in a T position. And we're going to turn our head to one side and take a breath and then slowly over to the other side and take a breath. And let's come back to the center and arms still right where they are. Let's bring the right knee to the chest and put the foot down and then the other one. So stretching the glutes and the low back and keep going. And then let's bring our knees up to our chest and hug the knees in and lift the head and the chest up and put that down, arms over our head. And let's do that again. We're going to bring the knees up, arms down, and keep going. Let's do a few more. And let's do five more. And then we're going to put our hands behind our head and do some bicycles, elbow to knee, stretch the leg out. And a few more. And then put the feet down and we're going to bring the arms down and lift the hips up and breathe. And one more breath. And then just roll the hips down and let's lift our right leg up and lift and lower the hips five times. And then let's go to the other leg. Left leg lifts up, lift and lower five times.
And then let's put our feet down and let's do our spinal twist, knees over to the right. And let's keep our knees together. So right hand on our left thigh and reach the, the left arm out and reach it up and out to the side. And let's do a few more, breathing deeply, stretching the side, even the hip. And one more time. And then let's roll the legs over to the other side and keep the knees together and reach the right arm out. And we're gonna do the same thing with the right arm straight up over the head, just kind of drag it up there out to the side and do a few more. And just one more. And then we're going to come back to the center with the knees. And let's use one of our blocks. So we're going to put the, the block between our knees and squeeze the knees and lift and lower just a few times, just to really wake up the belly. Keep that squeeze going the whole time. And last one, lift up and squeeze the block and walk the shoulder blades together and let's take a few more breaths, lifting the hips even higher. Now let's slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time, and we're going to lift the legs up. That block is still in there, and we're going to bring our arms out in a T and take the legs all the way down to the right, down to the floor. Squeezing the block, left arm out, and lengthen and breathe. And let's take three more breaths. And now let's bend the legs and we're going to lift them back up, straighten them out and bring them over to the left. And the same thing, right arm reaches out and let's roll the shoulder down and take three slow breaths. And then we're going to roll the legs back to the center and put our feet down and lift the hips again. This time, let's see if we can hold our feet or our ankles and lift a little bit higher. So we're really using the quads. Three breaths. And then we're going to roll down. And we're going to take the block out of there and put it underneath our back, underneath the sacrum, and let's lift the legs up. So first of all, just feel the evenness in the hips and press the hips down and then point and flex the feet. And let's make circles with our feet. And then circle in the opposite direction. And we're going to open them out to the side and close. So go slowly so you feel like you've got these ankle weights on. And we're really stretching and also pressing the hips down.
and just one more. And then the legs come back to the ceiling. We're going to point the toes, take our left leg down halfway, hold and lengthen, and switch. And we're going to do a few of these, lengthening the whole leg, like you've got toe shoes on. And keep breathing. Let's do one more to each leg. And now we're going to put our left foot down and let's bring the right knee toward the chest a little bit more. So bend the leg, press the hip down. And then we're going to cross the right foot over the left thigh and let that hip just roll open. So now we're going to take the knee toward the center and then out to the side. Control the movement. We're just doing a few. And then one more. And then we're going to uncross and let's try the left leg. We're going to lift it straight up and then hug the knee in toward the chest a little bit, bending the leg. And then now we're going to cross it over the right thigh and we've got to keep the tension in the hip as we do this. So we're bringing the knee in. You've got this weight on top of the inner thigh as you do this. Keeping the hips even. And let's do a few more. And then last one. Now we're going to reach our legs straight up and let's lengthen the legs. So hold the shins and let the back lengthen here and take a few more breaths. Keep the hips down. And we're going to widen the legs as we hold our, our feet or calf muscles, whatever, you're, whatever you can grab, as you keep the hips down. Three breaths. Flex the feet. And then slowly bring them back together. And let's put our feet down. And one more time, we're going to lift up off of the block and see about the mobility in the spine. You can move the block out of the way and walk the shoulder blades closer together and take three more breaths. And then see how slowly you can roll down and let's come over to the side and sit up. And we're going to sit in our straddle position. So wide enough, but not so wide that you know you feel like you can't lift your legs. So we're going to continue with some core stuff here. So we're going to bring our hands to our heart, lift the leg up one at a time without trying to sneak your back backwards <laughs> and keep going. And as you do this, start to walk the legs in. And then they get to the center and let's lengthen and hinge forward, stretching and reaching and taking three more breaths. Now as we sit up, we're going to cross our right leg over the left and twist to the right.
and then we're going to uncross and go to the other side and twist to the left and let's come back to the center and we're going to sit in our cross-legged position twist to the right again Let's reach our right arm up and lean to the left and lengthen. And we're going to come back up and let's go to the other side. Twist to the left, take a deep breath, reach the left arm up and lean to the right. And then we're coming back up and let's forward fold, hinging from the hips and feel that cat cow movement in the spine and walk our arms to the right and over to the left and to the center and we're going to come up and hand right hand down, left arm over maybe the forearm maybe you can keep the left hip down while the right forearm is down and roll the chest open and let's go to the other side same thing here you can kind of see the difference in your sides and a couple more breaths And let's come back up and we're going to flip our legs over to the left. So pretzel legs and we're going to hinge over and twist to the right. Let the left hip lift up and find a deeper stretch in your mid back. And then let's come to the center and we're going to flip our legs over to the right and do the same thing. Pretzel legs, twisting and letting that right hip come up and breathe. And we're going to come to the center and let's come on over to hands and knees and do a few cat cows. And let's do a couple more. And then we're going to come into puppy pose and lengthen our arms forward. And let's come all the way down to Sphinx. And we're breathing here. Three more breaths. Notice that cat-cow movement in your spine. And then let's come back to child's pose. Walk our arms to the right. And over to the left. And we're coming to the center and downward dog. And two more breaths. Let's come up on our toes and bend the knees and walk forward to the top of our mat. We're going to hang in our forward fold. Let the head go. And let's roll all the way up one vertebrae at a time and reach the arms up. And then arms in gold post position, right knee up. And let's do our can-can. 
five, four, three, two, and one, and into warrior three, right leg back. Then we're bringing the right leg forward, reaching the arms up over our head, big breath in, goal post arms, and left knee up. And let's do our can-can, five, four, three, two, one, and warrior three, left leg back. And then bringing our left leg forward, we're going to inhale up and come into Utkatasana. And hold here, come deeper into the hips. And forward fold. And let's step back to downward dog. And right leg lifts up and let's step it forward to a lunge. And right arm up. And then we're coming back to down dog. And left leg lifts up and steps forward. And then left arm up, spinal twist. And let's step back, down dog. And take three breaths. And we're going to come down to child's pose and lengthen the arms. And let's come into another puppy pose. all the way down on our belly with our arms over our head and let's do our belly rollouts right leg lifts up and we're going to roll on our back and let's keep going as we go over to the other side and one more And then back to our belly and let's lengthen the arms. We're going to take our right arm down by our side and turn our head to the right. And then switch and bring our left arm down and turn our head to the left. Really good. Let's come back to the center, back to our Sphinx pose. Three breaths. And then a half arm plank. To our child's pose. And we're going to sit up on our heels and twist to the right. And then over to the left. And to the center, let's come to hands and knees again. And we're going to reach our arms up over our head. Big breath and do a little back bend. And then hands back down. Let's slowly come on up to downward dog. And then right leg lifts up. We're going to step it forward to our high lunge and reach the arms up. And twist to the right. 
Let's cross the left arm over, hands together. And left hand down, right arm up. And then into dragon and five push-ups. And let's release that left leg down for a deeper dragon. Flatten the foot and three breaths. And we're going to straighten the right leg and bend just a couple times, keeping the right foot down. So this is a deeper stretch. And now let's lift back up and we're going to come into our downward dog and take another couple of breaths. Just notice the difference. And then let's try it on the other side. Left leg lifts up, steps forward to a lunge, and then a high lunge. Let's twist to the left. And then we're crossing the right arm over, hands together. And then right hand down and left arm up. Let's come into dragon and five push-ups. And then drop that right leg down, flatten the foot, deeper dragon. Just let your head release. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're straightening the left leg and keeping the foot down and bending. So as deeply as you want to go, just a couple of times. And let's lift the right leg up and we're going to step back to downward dog. And let's walk to the top of our mat for a forward fold and take three breaths. And we're going to come all the way up reaching up and stretching and then hands to our heart let's twist the upper body to the right and then to the left and to the center and utkatasana and then twist to the right cross our left elbow over there hands together And over to the left. One more breath. And let's come into a deeper forward fold. We're going to hold our elbows. And feel the breath in the spine. And then let's take our hands down to the mat. We're going to come halfway up and stretch. Forward fold. Let's step back now, downward dog again. And three breaths. Let's come into a regular plank. And let's do a few mountain climbers. Working on our feet a little bit here, bending one knee, straightening the other leg. 
and then all the way down to our mat, and five cobras. And let's come all the way down and we're going to bring our arms over our head, then the right leg. And now let's hold the right foot, press the hip down. And let's roll over to our left hip, still holding that leg or that ankle. We're going to straighten the leg out and put our right hand on our right hip and bend the leg again in and out keeping the leg up and doing a few more now let's straighten the leg and point the toes five little circles and five in the other direction Now we're going to bend the leg again, hold the foot, roll back on our belly, and take a couple of breaths. And then release the right leg, and let's bring our right arm over our head and feel the difference in your legs and back. And let's try the other side, bending the left leg, holding the left ankle. and rolling to the right hip, holding that ankle. And then we're gonna put, straighten the leg and take the leg straight out and bend it in again. And a couple more. And then let's point the toes, five little circles. And five in the other direction. And then bend the leg again, hold the ankle, roll to the belly. And release the leg. Let's come into another Sphinx. Three breaths. And then our half arm plank. And then to dolphin and walking forward. Coming up on the toes, if you can, lifting a little higher. And right leg lifts up. And then put that down onto the toes, left leg up. Really good, let's put that down and bend the knees and come back to child's pose. And let's take three breaths. And we're gonna sit up again on our heels. This time, let's come right into that back bend, hands down and hips up and breathe. And then our table stretch, right leg lifts up and put it down in the left. So controlling the movement, the right and the left. And we're going to bring our bottoms down and come into our boat pose and go in and out. And two more. 
hold the big toes and reach the legs out a little bit, rolling the shoulders down. And then let's release into our butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana, and forward fold, pressing our feet together. And taking a few more breaths. And now we're going to come on up and straighten our legs for a second here. So feel Dandasan and how your legs are pressing down and it helps you sit up even taller. And we're going to bend our right leg in and do our rock a baby here. So bringing the foot into the, the crook of your left elbow. And let's rock back and forth. We'll make a little circle and then we're going to release that leg and try the other one and lift the left leg up. And we're bringing a little bit more blood and circulation into the hips. And then we're going to take that down and forward fold. Release the head. Three breaths. And let's come on up and into our squat. And stretch the arms forward. And three more breaths. Now our forward fold, lifting the hips up. And let's come all the way up and reach the arms up and stretch in a little back bend. And then arms over the head, clasp the hands and reach the hands up. We're going to lean to the right and take the left leg out to the left and just hold. And then left foot down, lean to the left. Let's try it on this side, right leg out to the right and hold and breathe. Flexing the foot. And then we're going to come back to the center and let's bring our hands to our heart and take three breaths. Feel your posture. Now right knee comes up. Let's hold the right ankle for dancer. Left arm up. And let's try our warrior three again. Right leg back. This time we're coming into our forward fold with the leg up. Stepping that leg back to our lunge and left arm up. Let's come back to down dog. And right leg lifts up and steps forward and the left let's come halfway up forward fold and come all the way up let's stretch into another back bend hands to our heart and take a deep breath so let's try our dancer as we lift the left knee up and hold the left ankle and right arm up. And then into our warrior three, left leg back. 
and into our forward fold. And then left leg all the way back to our lunge and reach the right arm up, spinal twist. And we're coming back to down dog. And then left leg lifts up and steps forward and the right. Let's come halfway up, forward fold and come all the way up, hands to our heart. And again, feel how our feet are pressing down. Now let's inhale up, forward fold. We're gonna step back to down dog, three breaths. And right leg lifts up, and let's step forward to warrior two. And reverse, left arm down and right arm up. Now we're going to bring the forearm down and the left arm over and reach the right arm out. Let's slowly lower the right fingertips down and left arm up. And we're going to bring our left hand down to the mat, right arm up, spinal twist. Let's come back to our side angle pose and reach the left arm up, three breaths. Now into our warrior two. And then Trikonasana. And half moon, let's lift our left leg up. Back to Trikonasana. And we're coming all the way up, reaching both arms up over our head to stretch in a little back bend. And then let's forward fold, bringing our hands between our feet and go side to side with our legs in transverse lunges. And one more breath. And let's come all the way up again, reaching the arms up. Warrior two, and turn our left foot out. And then reverse, right arm down and left arm up. And then let's bring the left forearm down, right arm over, and right away reach the left arm out, roll the chest open. And left fingertips down, right arm up. And right hand down and left arm up in our spinal twist. And then back to our side angle and reach the right arm up for three breaths. And warrior two.
and Trikonasana. And then half moon and lift that right leg up. Trikonasana again, and take three breaths. And now let's come all the way back up. And one more time, reach the arms up over our head. This time we're going to lean to the right for a side stretch. Right arm down. So we're lengthening. And then let's reach the right arm up. We're going over to the left. And left arm down. And then both arms up over our head. And forward fold like downward dog arms on the floor. Let's walk our arms over to a right side lunge and take a deep breath, lengthening the chest forward. And then walk our arms over to the other side for a left side lunge. And then back to the center. Let's hold our ankles forward fold. And one more breath. And let's come all the way up and reach both arms up and another back bend. And then let's come into goddess and turn our feet out and bring the elbows open and closed. And let's try our leaning to the right. And then over to the left. And back to the center, three breaths. And inhale up. And let's come back to down dog. We're going to walk forward to a forward fold and release the head. And let's bend down slowly into a squat and stretch the back and the upper back and the lower back, the Achilles. And two more breaths. And we're going to come on down and let's roll down into our happy baby. And release the tongue and the jaw. And then feet together, Bhattakanasana. And let's put our feet down on the mat and do a spinal twist. Knees over to one side. You can relax completely now and let the energy flow through your body. Feel the difference.
All of our cells have woken up. And one more breath. And let's roll our legs to the other side for our spinal twist. And one more breath. And let's come back to the center and we're going to do our Satibandha. So rolling the hips up, walking the shoulder blades closer together and taking a few breaths. And then we're going to gently roll our hips down and we're going to roll to the side so we can grab our blocks and put one underneath the shoulder blades and the other one underneath our head. And find a comfortable position. So our arms and shoulders are softening and our breath is lengthening. Feel how the blocks are supporting your body so you could breathe in more completely to the belly, the mid chest, and the upper chest. Softening each exhale, as well as the hips, the legs, and the feet. Feel the weight of your head pressing down into the block. Your shoulder blades supported so the shoulders and arms can relax. And as we're breathing, we're allowing the circulation and energy to come into our body for good health and harmony. We're wishing now every cell of our being good health as well as our homes and our families. Wishing peace to our brothers and sisters everywhere. Now we're going to slowly begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. And when you're ready, stretch your arms over your head and roll to the side. And using the hands, let's press ourselves up and come into a seated position and bring our hands to our heart to seal in our practice today together. Let's take a deep inhale and sigh. One more time. Namaste. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you, Mary. So, have a really good one, you guys. Thank you. Thanks. I really needed that stretching. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad, <laughs> Marsha. I always think about you in terms of breathing over the bolsters or the blocks. So good. <laughs> It's okay. wonderful. Good. Thank and you. Safe journey, Joni. Thanks. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.